it's nearly the end of vet nurse month. And why do they get a whole month when vets just get a single day? Well, because vet nurses and vet techs, along with the other support staff in veterinary clinics, are generally the unsung heroes. So do you really know what vet nurses do? Well, here's why they are so awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, where my aim is to help you and your pets live a healthier, happier life. So if that's something you're interested in, then make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And to start off, I'm gonna say that qualified veterinary nurses and technicians, they're just super passionate about their job and are incredibly talented and clever individuals. So did you know that it takes at least two years of training to become a fully qualified nurse with really tough requirements to even get on the program in the first place? Registered nurses and technicians also then need to complete a certain number of hours of continued education kind of throughout their career just to make sure that they're fully up to date. I um, mean, they're at the cutting edge of kind of nursing developments, of medical developments, and able to expand their skills so they'll be able to provide an even better service to look after your dog and your cat. But what do vet nurses actually do? What do veterinary techs actually do? Well, We'll start off by saying they're anaesthetists, they're the surgical assistant, they're a dental hygienist, they're the phlebotomist, they're drawing blood, they're the lab technician. So they do all of these jobs that in a human setting, specific individuals are responsible for each one. So they've got a whole wealth of skills and technical skills from that point of view. They're also kind of involved in a lot of the medical aspects of your pet's treatment. So they'll set up IV fluids, they'll administer specific treatments and diagnostic testing as well. They'll give medication, um, they'll monitor sickness, they'll monitor kind of how well a pet is doing, you know, whether there's been much response to treatment, you know, over the course of the day. It may be that your vet's only checking on your pet once a day or a couple of times a day, you know, assuming that everything's going well, but it's your vet nurse and the vet tech who's monitoring them throughout the day to make sure that there's been no change in their condition that a vet needs to be um, um, made aware of. They'll be tempting patients to eat, so making sure they're getting the calorie requirements that are often higher when a, an animal is sick. They'll provide in company as well, so they'll help relieve stress from that point of view to make a patient more comfortable and more relaxed in the hospital setting and also just make sure they're as comfortable from a pain point of view as possible. Now their other job is to unfortunately sometimes chase up after the vets to make sure that um, patient reports are delivered, that f um, phone updates are given, that any lab tests are reported promptly um, and, and appropriately. They'll also kind of tidy up and clean up after, after vets and some vets are worse than others when it comes to clearing up after themselves. So that's kind of all of the technical things that your vet nurse or your vet tech will be doing. But, you know, they're also doing lots of other things. So they're receptionists, they run puppy classes, they run weight clinics. You know, obesity is such a huge issue. And actually, if we can get pets down to their healthy weight, then they'll be much more healthy. And vet nurses and vet technicians play a crucial role in this. They'll answer client queries at the front. You know, they'll also follow up with clients to make sure they're happy, make sure they understand the, the disease that's going on or the treatment that's been prescribed. So they've got a whole range of different tasks from a maybe more administrative or a more educational point of view and then also vet nurses and technicians they're absolutely passionate about animal health and animal welfare and they pay, play a key role in educating kind of the public as a whole you know not necessarily just the pet owning, owning public but about you know important animal welfare um, topics so you know it's really important that our pets are looked after properly that they're provided with everything that they need and our vet nurses and technicians play a crucial role in this as well. So with vet nurses and technicians doing all of these different jobs, you can see how absolutely critical they are when it comes to the veterinary team. You know, vets alone, we could, we just couldn't do our job without a good nursing team behind us. And also at this, you know, at this point, it's important to mention um, the receptionists and other administrative staff as well. You know, they're really on the front line. They're helping to triage. They're helping to calm down, um, you know, clients if they're feeling anxious, if they're feeling upset, you know, and, and without the whole team, the work couldn't be done and we couldn't keep your pet healthy in the first place or work on uh, making your pet better if they become unwell or if they become injured. So really veterinary nurses and technicians, they're often the unsung heroes of the veterinary team. They should be respected and they should be recognized as such. So next time your pet gets discharged after surgery or after being ill or after you get some advice to help keep them healthy in the first place, be sure to thank the nursing team just as much if not more so than you're thanking your vet because the nurses were absolutely critical undoubtedly in your pet's care. 
And I'd love to hear from you, how has a particular nurse at your veterinary clinic, you know, gone out of their way to help your pet recover? I'd love to hear your stories in the comments down below. But really, that's it from me. I'm Dr. Alex. This is our pet's health, because they're family.